A long time ago, there was a young boy who lived with his mother. His name was Aladdin. They were very poor. One day, there was a man on the street that looked like a monk. When he saw Aladdin, he thought to himself, "This." Is who I've been looking for. Actually, he wasn't a monk. He was a wicked magician. The magician told Aladdin that he was his uncle. Aladdin and his mother both thought it was true, and believed that he would help Aladdin make money to support the family. Magician brought Aladdin to the bottom of a mountain. He began chanting a curse, and the ground split open, revealing a tunnel. The magician said, "There is an oil lamp down there. Go inside and get it." He gave Aladdin a ring and said it would. Aladdin quickly found the oil lamp. However, as he tried to climb out of the tunnel, he found that the top few stairs were too tall. He couldn't climb out. The magician, thinking that Aladdin kept the oil lamp for himself, became very angry and sealed up the tunnel entrance. Aladdin realized that the man had been lying. He wasn't really his uncle. Aladdin then accidentally rubbed up against the oil lamp, and right before his eyes appeared a genie. The oil lamp was actually a genie's lamp. The genie said, "Master, your wish is my command." Aladdin responded excitedly, "Bring me out of this tunnel to the ground." Aladdin had barely finished speaking when he returned to the surface. He quickly ran home and told his mother everything that had happened. Now that Aladdin and his mother had a genie, they no longer needed to worry about how to make a living. Aladdin saw a beautiful princess on the street. He immediately fell in love with her. Aladdin. Had his mother bring a box full of jewels to the king to ask for the princess's hand in marriage. The king was delighted when he saw so many jewels. The king said that if Aladdin could build a new palace, he could marry the princess. Aladdin's mother returned home to tell him the king's demand. Aladdin took out the lamp and rubbed it. The genie appeared, and Aladdin said, "Help me build a beautiful palace." The next day. The king saw the glorious palace that had been built. He could not believe his own eyes. He immediately agreed to let Aladdin marry the princess. They got married and were very happy together. When the magician found out all about what had happened, 
he became very angry. While Aladdin was not at home, the magician took a new lamp and dressed up like a lamp seller. He went in front of the palace and tried to sell the lamp. The princess didn't know that the lamp in her house was a genie's lamp. So she traded it in for the new one. Once the magician got hold of the genie's lamp, he rubbed it to make the genie come out. He commanded the genie to move the princess and the palace to his home in Egypt. When Aladdin returned, the princess and the palace had both disappeared. Aladdin was extremely worried. Without thinking, he twisted the ring on his finger and out came a fairy. The ring was magical. The ring fairy told Aladdin that the magician had taken the princess and the palace to Egypt. Aladdin commanded the fairy to take him there. When the magician was sleeping, Aladdin commanded the ring fairy to restrain the magician. The fairy rubbed the lamp to make the genie come out and then brought the palace back. The magician was thrown into the tunnel and never came out again. From that time on, Aladdin and the princess lived happily ever after.